Whoa, there was a mayfly on the screen. Did you see that? Tim and I are floating the South Fork today. See if we catch any fish. Barely touched it too. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah. He's still pretty pissed. Yeah, I might need, I want, I might could use a netting. I'll tell you when, right now. Ooh, nice. Dude. Thick, thick, thick. We've been floating down quite a ways. We tried streamers, a bunch of different droppers. I finally put a Duracell on and we saw some fish rising in flattish water. And every time we've seen a rise form, cast out, boom, fish on. This beauty just ate. So let's get him, let's get him released. Nice. Solid work, Uncle Tim. Three strikes. Now he's up. So we might I might be on the sticks for a few hours. <laughs> so here we are. Finally put a Duracell on. Just lobbed her over. Yeah, it's going to be a white fish. <laughs> you see that net? No, it's a brown. I see spots. I see spots. Oh, it's gone. You saw that GoPro. <laughs> Long distance release. Well, throwing about a three foot dropper and a little Duracell under the chubby. The old hide that Tim Mickles rowing for me got me into that fish. So we're fishing a dry dropper and we were parked, just eddied out and this feller ate a chubby. So, I'll show you. Nice, healthy brown. Don't fall in. Feel my hide boat. Keep me in. Nice, healthy brown. A day of these isn't too bad. Curtis and Lance can't do that. Freaking noobs. Okay, I'm going to talk about my rig real quick. I'm just fishing a 9 foot 5 weight fancy scott fly rod that we'll talk about later but it's money like super impressed with this rod on that i've got the infinity taper fly line just because i want something that can do both delicate dry fly stuff and dry dropper or streamers onto that i've actually cut off the loop and tied a needle nail knot so that it slides through the guides a little bit more freely i just don't like the loops so a nine foot three x leader and onto the nine foot three x leader i've tied on some fulling mill four and a half x fluorocarbon the reason why i go so much thinner with the fluorocarbon is because it cuts through the water and i'm fishing a duracell as my dropper but the most important thing i think is 
I'm tying my dry fly off of a tag end. And it works really well with these really super buoyant dry flies like a chubby Chernobyl. Um, but what that allows me to do is if a fish eats this dry fly like the last two fish did, they're going to be able to get this whole thing in their mouth without this tippet being in the way. Now the only downside of this is if, if you have a really heavy dropper, um, sometimes this dry fly will tend to ride nose down a little bit. But, you know, as of, you know, I don't know, most of this summer, I've fished dry flies on tag ends like this and it's been awesome. So, anyway, that's a cool dry dropper rig that allows you to get fish both on the dry fly and on the dropper. Oh, I need a row. Hold on a second. <laughs> Here. Tim's apparently rowing us, but uh, today uh, it's been hot and cold. We started out kind of slow, um, and then we started whacking a bunch of fish, boom, 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 on dries. And then uh, I put a dropper back on. Don't tell Lance, but it's a miniature red dart, but it only works because I tied it and just whacked a really healthy fish. You got there well tim said maybe cast up there do twitchy de twitch man de man and this you forgot one part that i told you to do what set, set. <laughs> <laughs> whitey patrol whitey patrol whitey patrol let's see how many we can get in, out of here but I've got a different line. I, I'm not running a tapered beater, just like Pure 6. I think I got another little whitey. I like that, they flip their head and off they go. What do you say, Tim, I'm rolling tape. Killing it. <laughs> Tim whacked a bunch out of on streamers out of here. So I'm just batting clean up. Catching a white fish or two. Fishing the Thomas and Thomas 1093. A little bit of extra reach in this riffle. It's pretty nice. Oh, just got trucked. Okay. Oh yeah? I'll have to go try it out as soon as I land this one. I didn't even see that move. This is just a good idea always to set before you cast again. 
<laughs> he was on there. Man, they're so strong. What's that? Tim rode me into this fish. Chubby eater. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's a nice one. It's a big brown, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna need net on this one. 3X tippet. Still need some net. Fatty. Woo! Fatty brown pants. Dude. Now you're up. I'm up. Now you're up. That you really had to work me into that one. Literally one cast later. So this is a healthy fish, dude. Pissed off. So they say if you want to catch all the big fish, throw dry flies. <laughs> oh man. He's still not ready. Dude! Little delicate cutties eating a bionic ant. Show us what you're working with, Timothy. There you go. A little tan bionic. Tan bionic ant in Idaho. We call that the slow lane bionic. Yeah. Teach guided me into that one. It's three, three fourths of fish. Three fourths. I'm retaining all rights. <laughs> so what happened there? Uh, you saw it eat, and I cast, told me where to cast, and it ate. It just happened again. Oh, old Uncle Cheech spotting fish for Tim. <laughs> Goodness gracious, people. I just do it out of the kindness of my heart. I do declare that Uncle Timothy is catching himself some fish. Another big dumb cutthroat. I can't help you this time, buddy. Just look at this old hide just holding water for you. Look at this old hide just drafting. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, little cut bow. There he goes. People in North Georgia are going to be pissed. He dropped that from less than six inches or more than six inches. Oh, I'm just getting worn out rowing this boat. Oh, okay. All right, people. There you have it. Looked into a little bit tougher fish. Yeah, he's fighting way bigger than he really is. He ran me almost into my backing. What? No, that's, that's a good fish. fish. I got that old. Oh, that's good fish. That old fully mill four and a half x tippet. Oh, that's bigger than I 
God. This tail's just tiny. Nice. <laughs> well, it was Tim's turn, and he, out of the kindness of his heart, he said, just keep on fishing. Oh, uh, it's because he was giving up. <laughs> Uncle Tim is on a fish. I don't know if he's ever fought a fish before, but... <laughs> I'm gonna go over here. Chase him. Tim says good fish. So we're on the chase. Get him out of the fast water now. Oh, he's. this fish. That's a good fish. Decent. Nice one. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Dude. Oh, at that. What's that? Is this bigger than that rainbow? Uh, it may be. Yeah. Dang. Chubby eater. Stop to Euro Nymph again. The old Tasmanian devil. Works in Idaho too. No net. Pulling mill five and a half X. Nice. Bit of wind. Little white fish. <laughs> 